hello lovelies welcome back once again to my channel this is my soft kitchen i hope you are all doing well and keep it safe so today i'm sharing with you my ghana sugar bread recipe this is so simple to make and when you learn to make this you will be always making this at home so let's get busy i'm proud to be part of my soft kitchen you proud to be part of my soft kitchen it's very educative, very informative, nothing delays, always the best. You proud to be part of Massab's kitchen. You proud to be part of Massab's kitchen. I have my all purpose flour, sugar, evaporated milk melted butter that is unsalted nutmeg yeast salt my vanilla sugar or powder and my homemade pineapple extract and some warm water so I'll go ahead and sieve my flour into my mixing bowl I added in my nutmeg salt and then sieve it all together into my mixing bowl I then added in my sugar I mixed all together and made a well in the middle I then added in my yeast my unsalted butter evaporated milk my vanilla sugar pineapple extract warm water I'm using my stand mixer to knead all this dough together you can also use your hand to knead this dough together if you don't have a stand mixer in the meantime I'll go ahead and smear some butter into my loaf tins and then spread it all over add in some flour and then shake it all over just to avoid our bread sticking onto the things when we are done baking so we go back and check our dough I've been kneading this for almost 12 minutes so I'm not going to knead it too much on my working surface I added some flour on my working surface and then add my dough on my working surface and then knead it just for about a minute i'll go ahead and smear some butter in my mixing bowl and then add my dough back into the mixing bowl cover it with some plastic foil Mazab's kitchen cover it again with some napkin and let this be in a dark place for about an hour so I'll deflate my dough and remove some air from the dough I'll now go ahead and then divide my dough into two parts forming a log or forming a loaf is a bit difficult so I used my rolling pin to flatten up my dough and then use my hand to form some log and then seal the edges and then just like this so I'll bring my baking tin and then check it to see if it will fit in and it fits in so I'll go ahead and do the second one I'm not using the rolling pin as you can see I'm just rolling to form a loaf and it fits very well in my loaf tin so at this time I'll cover it up I'm proofing this dough for the second time again with some plastic foil I'll list all the ingredients in the description box below and then cover this up with some napkin and let this sit for about 40 to 50 minutes I'm preheating my oven at 180 degrees 
after proving our dough for about 50 minutes now you can see that it has doubled in size so it's time to bake this delicious bread so it went into my oven i bake this bread for about 20 minutes depending on how brown you want your bread to be 20 minutes what's okay for me so just look at it it looks so good i cannot wait to taste it i'm not waiting for it to cool off because i want to enjoy my bread when it's hot <laughs> and my kids are waiting right here so we are going to enjoy this just look at this so i'll go ahead and then slice it up for us to enjoy it if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do want to subscribe and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you'll be first to know just look at it it looks so good and it tastes so delicious my kids cannot wait so they are going to pick theirs until i come your way next time with another delicious recipe bye for now smack like eater Mother.